Excuse me, if I could ask everybody to take their seats, we're just going to get started in about a minute here. I get, if I could ask you all to please stand and join me in welcoming the graduating class of 2023.
please, please remain standing. Please remain standing. We acknowledge and thank the Coast Salish people on whose traditional territory Brentwood College School resides. We express our gratitude to the Malahat and Cowichan nations. We value the opportunity to learn, live, and share educational experiences on this traditional territory. Now please be seated. This morning I talked about, you know, the magic of Brentwood doing things with each other and for each other. And I gave Tom Shadlock credit for getting my glasses. <laughs> it's not Tom. It wasn't Tom. It was actually Wendy, my wife, that actually saw this. She's sitting over there. She doesn't want the spotlight, yeah. But it was actually Al, who's back there with the sunglasses on, the, looking super cool back there, that broke into my office. I didn't know the facilities guys could do that. Climbed through the window and then got my glasses. So thanks, Al. Appreciate that. Last Thursday was the last day of classes for the grade 12s in high school. Well. We'll see, they, have, they may, may not pass, we'll see. <laughs> and on that day, they chose to, as Mr. Wardrop said earlier, you know, play a little prank on me. Now there is video evidence out there, um, but it was an awesome experience. And I just wanna thank the grad class for doing that. There's like 100 people in the living room waiting for me to come down. And my reaction was, why are there so many shoes out there? Yeah. So they're so polite, they took off their shoes to come in. <laughs> awesome. And then I sort of went backwards like this as if I you know, was about to be shot or something like that. So, uh, but I appreciate that. I'll always remember that. So thanks, grads. The 2023 graduating class has dealt with the highs and lows of the school year with a great deal of passion, tenacity, and as Tommy said, a lot of fun too. They are credited for returning Brentwood to the normal rhythm of the school year and did so with the only super lifers really knowing what a real Brentwood experience was like. The new students, including some that are here in grade 12, joined an amazing 287 day grade 12 journey that marks the culmination of their primary middle and secondary school experience. And if we're honest, I'm not sure it was a totally smooth ride through the whole way. Not just at Brentwood, but probably when they were in their primary years. However, this year they successfully navigated university counseling applications and deadlines, the famous Deer Lodge Motel, cohorts and social distancing, Strathcona, and even Mrs. Patel's grade eight expectations. For parents, family, and friends, I'd encourage you to soak in this experience today as each one of these fine young people walk across the stage. And do so, please, through your eyes and your ears and your heart, not through the lens of your phone. Because when they cross this threshold, it's the only time in their lives they move from children or young people to adulthood. Maybe not fully adulthood, but the start of adulthood. When they graduate from university, they're already an adult. When they change jobs and get a promotion, they're already an adult. This is that one moment that all of us get to treasure them transferring from a child to an adult. Over here, they're an old Brentonian. When they come up to those stage, they're still a student. It's pretty special, and I get to be part of that experience. It's amazing. So let's get started. I now invite Mr. Rodriguez, our Director of University Counseling, to introduce the 2023 graduating class. Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you, sir. Okay. Welcome, parents, family, and friends of the members of the Brentwood graduating class of 2023. In preparation for today, I look back to see what words I offered to open the ceremony marking the class of 2022. I was struck that it focused on how it was the first occasion since 2019 that we had had to gather under normal circumstances. 
The moment was joyous, a joyous return after the maelstrom that was the global pandemic. How incredible it is to be here in this moment, recalling that which feels like such a distant memory now. But have we completely turned the corner on COVID? For these graduates here, they saw their grade nine year end in chaos. They experienced a grade 10 year in cohorts and under strict restrictions if at Brentwood and likely on Zoom or in hybrid learning environments elsewhere in the world. They experienced a grade 11 still rocked by variants and isolation protocols and Deer Lodge, <laughs> but with a hope of a light at the end of the tunnel. It was only in this year that they were able to experience a fully immersive grade 12 year. Let's think about that carefully. For a significant portion of the four years, these graduates endured closure, mitigation, restriction, all during the most critical formative years of their lives. They struggled to learn online, they attempted to remain connected through screens, and they tried to feel normal while enduring precisely the opposite. It was a raw deal, to be sure. Yet here we are, celebrating an event to mark the culmination of the hard work completed during high school years. In this case, with these young people, the occasion takes on new meaning and demands particular reverence. These graduates endured much to get to this point. And for that, they deserve our praise and respect. For some, that burden left scars. But scars fade. Enough to permit those who bear them to move forward, but not quite enough to allow them to forget. These graduates will always recount the experiences of COVID, the impacts of the pandemic. They will shudder at the memories of how their worlds were altered, of what was missed. But I hope that they understand that they survived. They endured. They overcame. They did what was necessary to relearn, to refocus, to reconnect. And now they find themselves at graduation, a time to celebrate and acknowledge all that brought these fine young people here. All the work, the effort, the joys and pain, the support from friends and family, the guidance of caring adults, the hope for a less complicated future. In this post-pandemic world, there has remained a pandemic hangover that clouds the world of college and university admissions. The table was set last year when the graduates of 2022 had to compete with students whose applications were heavy with marks from interrupted school years and online courses, and the impact was all too real. There was a steady return towards normalcy this year for these graduates, although that hangover lingered. Yet they stood tall, peering through the haze of the admission process. Indeed, 70% of them received an offer from their top choice school, a data point that simultaneously reflects the depth of the competition for places and the strengths that these students brought to bear in their applications. These graduates also looked beyond the artificial metrics that attempt to define quality in post-secondary education. They focused on their priorities, their needs and wants, and what was important for their academic futures. It is why they'll be attending 60 different institutions in 14 different countries. Never boring. It is why they will pursue studies in areas aligned with their values, from social work to acting, from medicine and nursing to music and engineering. No matter what was thrown at them during the somewhat chaotic high school careers, these graduates achieved what is most important, they remain true to themselves. So now, graduates, you must continue to do that as you venture out into the world. It won't be easy for you, that's for certain. But everything I have come to know about you gives me hope that you'll be able to face the world that lies before you. On one hand, it would be easy to doubt that these graduates can accomplish given the kind of world they enter. It is a world in which Wars continue to roil, in which economic uncertainty, the cost of living, and inequality continue to rise, in which the impact of climate change threatens to destabilize our daily lives. Yet there is reason for hope, hope in these minds, 
in these hearts, in these souls. Hope that the resilience and determination that they showed as they navigated uncertain times will endure and will inspire them to great things in the years to come. I'm not suggesting that these graduates have the magical answers that will cure all that ails the world. They do, however, possess the drive to seek the answers, the willingness to work hard in their pursuits, the resilience to endure even in the face of failure. What they have learned and experienced will allow them to work tirelessly, to discover excitedly, to debate vigorously. But graduates, know this. You have so much more to learn and experience before you can truly achieve what is expected of you. You are entering a complex world that will be demanding great things of you. But know that you are up for the challenge. With every effort you've made in the classroom, with every brave performance you've made on the stage, with every battle that you fought on the field, with every friendship you nurtured, with every helping hand you extended to the members of your community, you have shown that you are up for the challenge. For whatever awaits you beyond Brentwood's gates, you will be up for the challenge, so long as you remain hungry to learn and experience new things each and every day. Graduates, to ensure that you are always up for the challenge. You will need to be brave. You will need to be confident. You will need to be adventurous. When the opportunities come to get out into the world and connect with two new people, new places, new cultures, either as part of your studies or your work, take them. When faced with the choice to do what will challenge your mind, your body, your soul, over what is simple and easy, choose what is hard to do. Push yourself beyond what is comfortable and easy. Challenge yourself every day. Allow yourself to be vulnerable and open to the thoughts and feelings of others. Bring grit and joy to your life every day. But above all else, graduates, remember the most important thing. Be kind. Be kind to each other. Be kind to the world. Be kind to yourselves. If you forget everything else that has been said to you today, remember that most vital thing. Life is nothing if it is not full of kindness. Life is nothing if it is not full of love. Take that one thing from this place, graduates, and everything will be okay. Well, graduates, it's nearly time. Nearly time to take those steps onto this stage as children and then the steps that will take you away from this place as adults. But before all that happens, uh, I need to, you all to indulge me a little bit. The first indulgence is a hangover from last year when Mr. Sullivan so graciously endured surgery on his ruptured Achilles heel, granting me the stage in his stead during closing ceremonies. And channeling Mr. John Garvey, I couldn't help myself. And I can't help myself now. <laughs> so here goes, just, just a little bit. After dinner one night, my wife asked if I could clear the table. I needed a running start, but I made it. Yeah, yeah. If you donate a kidney, everybody loves you, and you're a total hero. But try donating five kidneys, and suddenly everyone's yelling at you, and the police are getting called. My parents raised me as an only child. That really annoyed my brother. I asked my wife if I was the only one she had ever slept with. She said yes. All the others were sevens or eights. <laughs> I like that that one got the most laughs. Well done. I just ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll keep you posted. I finally finished writing my book on penguins. My publisher said it would have been better if I wrote it on paper. <laughs> and of course, some advice, as it is a day of advice. The secret to life is honesty and fair dealing. If you can fake that, you've got it made. <laughs> Thank you. Got that out of my system. Thank you. All right. <laughs> The other indulgence is much more civilized, I promise. 
Earlier at closing ceremonies, Mr. Patel acknowledged those amongst the academic faculty who are departing Brentwood, and I too want to express on behalf of these graduates and all of you, gratitude and well wishes to them all. But in particular, I want to selfishly take this public opportunity to offer thanks to Cheryl Mertland, our departing deputy head. At Brentwood, students always encounter people of impact, their house parents, their coaches, their teachers, but there are those people who make the impact behind the scenes. Graduates, you likely do not fully appreciate the depth of Cheryl's devotion to you and your academic success. Without fanfare or desire for the limelight, she worked tirelessly for, in her time at Brentwood and always for you. I have never seen anyone do the heavy lifting that I have seen her do during her time at the school. And at all times, that heavy lifting was for you. I've had the pleasure to work closely with her and see so much of her impact on students and colleagues alike, past and present. For all of that, Cheryl, we thank you. All right, graduates, it's time to get the show started. But before we do, it has become tradition for me to offer my favorite sign-off. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. Parents, family, and friends, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the members of the Brentwood College School graduating class of 2023. Looks like we're ready to go. All right. Three years at Brentwood from Dharan, Saudi Arabia, proceeding to Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, where she will pursue studies in engineering, Kokloko Obase Akpama. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Victoria, British Columbia, commencing his studies in the Faculty of Arts and Science at Queen's University with plans to major in political science, Captain of Model United Nations, Martin Nicholas Allardison. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood, from Mexico City, Mexico, proceeding to McGill University in Montreal, Quebec, to commence his studies in materials engineering, co-captain of pottery, winner of the Peggy Elms Pottery Award and of Triple Colors, and co-winner of the Brentonian Shield, Emiliano Altamirano Castellanos. Five years at Brentwood, from Maple Bay, British Columbia, commencing his studies in engineering at the Okanagan campus of University of British Columbia in Kelowna, co-winner of the Acting and for Stage and Screen Prize, Aidan Atkins. Two years at Brentwood, from Cancun, Mexico, entering the College of Arts and Sciences at Santa Clara University in Santa Clara, California, where she intends to major in theater, captain of senior drama, winner of Triple Colors, a Heads Award in Arts, and co-winner of the Callan Family Award, Pilar Avia Melgarejo. Four years at Brentwood, from Comox, British Columbia, commencing his studies in nanotechnology engineering with a scholarship at University of Waterloo in Waterloo, Ontario, co-captain of Wind Ensemble, winner of the of Heads Awards in Arts and Athletics, and winner of the William T. Ross Trophy, this year's Assistant Head Prefect for Academics, Avik Bakshi. Two years at Brentwood, from Kelowna, British Columbia, pursuing studies in engineering at University of Victoria with a scholarship, Madison Bell. <laughs> 
Two years at Brentwood from Vancouver, British Columbia, entering the School of Arts and Sciences at University of Rochester in New York with a scholarship where she plans to pursue a major in public health, Madeline Bellamy. Three years at Brentwood from Toronto, Ontario, proceeding to University of Southern California in Los Angeles and entering the Dornsife College of Letters, Arts and Sciences to pursue studies in applied and computational mathematics, co-captain of Wind Ensemble, winner of a Heads Award in Academics and co-winner of the Brentonian Shield, Felicity Bertz. Three years at Brentwood from Okinawa, Japan, commencing her studies in the dual degree program in Business Administration and International Relations at IE University in Madrid, Spain with a scholarship, Lea Bird Lopez. Three years at Brentwood, from Calgary, Alberta, pursuing studies in science at Queen's University, captain of boys ice hockey and winner of the Coaches Award in hockey, Ned Booth. Five years at Brentwood, from Shawnigan Lake, British Columbia, taking a gap year before commencing his studies in fine arts, co-captain of hand-built pottery, honored as a contributing artist to the Chrissa Collection, and a winner of a Heads Award in Arts, Joshua Brennan. Always gotta make an entrance. <laughs> Three years at Brentwood from Albuquerque, New Mexico, entering the dual degree program in arts with a major in gender and social justice and law at Trent University in Peterborough and Swansea University in Wales. Lorelai Brown. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Tuasin, British Columbia taking a gap year to pursue opportunities in veterinary medicine before entering the Faculty of Science at University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon with a scholarship to pursue a major in animal bioscience, <laughs> Amelie Bunz. <laughs> Five years at Brentwood from Mill Bay, British Columbia, commencing studies in economics as a student athlete at the Vancouver campus of University of British Columbia with a scholarship, Bridget Burton. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Canmore, Alberta, proceeding to Queen's University to commence her studies in engineering, winner of the Art Foundation Prize, Daisy Buziak. Two years at Brentwood from Duncan, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Social Sciences at University of Victoria, where she plans to major in psychology, Caitlin Byron. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Vancouver, British Columbia, proceeding to Huron University College in London, Ontario with a scholarship where she plans to major in psychology, Simone Cady. Four years at Brentwood, from Prince George, British Columbia, taking a gap year before entering the regular officer training program and commencing his studies in engineering at the Royal Military College of Canada in Kingston, Ontario, Coquelin Carroll. Four years at Brentwood, from Seattle, Washington, entering the College of Education and Professional Studies at Central Washington University in Ellensburg, where he plans to pursue his studies in construction management, co-captain of Brentwood Broadcast, Will Catlin. Four years at Brentwood, from Victoria, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Social Sciences 
at University of Victoria, Tyson Chestnut. Four years at Brentwood, from Dahran, Saudi Arabia, entering the Faculty of Science at McGill University, where he plans to major in mathematics. Winner of the Outstanding Jazz Musician Prize, of Heads Awards in Academics and Arts, and of Triple Colors. Honored with the Robert Cooper Cup as Musician of the Year, and co-winner of the Holmes Cup, Captain of Jazz Band and Captain of Privet House, Ariel Finnegan Chiam. One year at Brentwood from Ottawa, Ontario, proceeding to McGill University to pursue his Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in psychology, winner of a Heads Award in academics, Nick Chomsky. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Issaquah, Washington, taking a gap year to complete Arctic survival training in Norway before entering the college at Fordham University in the Bronx, New York. Kai Jian Chotomuller. Five years at Brentwood, from Duncan, British Columbia. Entering the Faculty of Arts at the Vancouver campus of University of British Columbia, Lily Cochran. Two years at Brentwood, from Whistler, British Columbia, commencing her studies in the life sciences at Queen's University, co-winner of the award in and co-captain of graphical and digital arts, Ella Kolpitz. Four years at Brentwood, from San Francisco, California, proceeding to the Vancouver campus of the University of British Columbia, to pursue his Bachelor of Arts degree and Master's of Management degree, co-captain of string, on, string Ensemble, Ian Stewart Cooper. Five years at Brentwood, from Duncan, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Applied Science at the Vancouver campus of University of British Columbia to pursue studies in engineering, Ty David Dahlstrom. Four years at Brentwood, from Victoria, British Columbia, commencing his training in firefighting with the Training Division Fire Academy in Crowley, Texas, winner of the Coaches Award in Rugby, Kalen David. Four years at Brentwood, from Marondera, Zimbabwe, Proceeding to University of Victoria, where she will begin her studies in recreation and health education. Winner of Ho the Hall at McKenzie Award in field hockey and of a Heads Awards in arts. Co-winner of the Powell Cup and captain of the Student Activities Council, Samantha Jane Davis. Three years at Brentwood from Edmonton, Alberta commencing his studies in engineering at Queen's University. A Triple Colors winner and winner of a Heads Award in academics, Joffrey Decor. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Grand Prairie, Alberta, proceeding to Trinity Western University in Langley, British Columbia with a scholarship where he will pursue studies in science. Winner of a Heads Award in arts, Francois Denkema. Two years at Brentwood, from Whitehorse, Yukon Territory, commencing her Bachelor of Veterinary Medicine and Surgery degree at the Royal Dick School of Veterinary Medicine at University of Edinburgh in Scotland. Captain of Public Speaking, winner of the Pavlis Award in Hockey, winner of the Oratory Award in Public Speaking, and winner of a Heads Award in Academics, Macy DeWald Rose. Two years at Brentwood from Delhi, India, 
entering the Faculty of Management at the Okanagan campus of University of British Columbia, Saihaj Dhaliwal. Five years at Brentwood from Maple Bay, British Columbia, proceeding to University of Waterloo with a scholarship to pursue studies in mechatronics engineering. Captain of digital photography, co-winner of the Acting for Stage and Screen Prize, Jack Doler. Three years at Brentwood from Chilliwack, British Columbia commencing her studies in English literature and art history at University of Glasgow in Scotland with a scholarship, co-captain of yearbook and captain of girls rugby, co-winner of the yearbook prize, and winner of the Burroughs Cup for Rugby of Triple Colors and of a Heads Award in Arts, Abigail Donaldson. Five years at Brentwood from Duncan, British Columbia entering the Faculty of Arts at University of Calgary, where he plans to major in philosophy, Alexander Edwardson. Three and a third years at Brentwood from Calgary, Alberta, commencing her studies in political science in the Faculty of Arts at McGill University, winner of Triple Colors and co-winner of the Peyton Trophy, Captain of Alexandra House, Sylvia Ejumabona. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood, from Edmonton, Alberta, proceeding to Queen's University, where he will pursue studies in the life sciences, Ryan Equim. Four years at Brentwood from Fort McMurray, Alberta, entering the Faculty of Forestry to pursue studies in wood products processing at the Vancouver campus of University of British Columbia with an athletic scholarship, winner of the Ian Bisco Rowing Award and co-captain of the Boathouse, Annika Iwashko. Five years at Brentwood from Cobble Hill, British Columbia, commencing her studies in recreation and health education at University of Victoria, Brooklyn Forrester. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Vancouver, British Columbia, proceeding to the British Columbia Institute of Technology in Vancouver to pursue studies in mechanical engineering technology, Keith Fraser. Five years at Brentwood from Mill Bay, British Columbia, commencing a postgraduate year at the Berkshire School in Sheffield, Massachusetts. Captains of a boys basketball, winner of the Players Award in basketball, and winner of a head award in athletics, Dylan Gage. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia proceeding to New York University in Shanghai, China, where she plans to major in economics, Inkjin Ganbatar. Four years at Brentwood, from Victoria, British Columbia, commencing his studies in health and exercise sciences at the Okanagan campus of University of British Columbia, winner of the Outstanding Photographer Award and co-winner of the George Killey Award, Simon Gillespie. Four years at Brentwood, from London, Ontario, proceeding to Queen's University to begin his studies in engineering, Findlay Arthur William Goodall. Four years at Brentwood, from Dharan, Saudi Arabia, entering the Haskane School of Business at University of Calgary, 
where she will pursue her studies in commerce, specializing in international business. Riley Goff. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood, from San Francisco, California, entering the College of Letters and Science at University of California, Santa Barbara, where he plans to major in political science, Declan Grayley. Two years at Brentwood from Hong Kong, commencing her studies in computer science at the Vancouver campus of University of British Columbia, co-captain of robotics and co-winner of the robotics prize, Karina Guan. One year at Brentwood from Kelowna, British Columbia, proceeding to Mount Allison University in Sackville, New Brunswick with a scholarship to pursue her Bachelor of Science degree in Aviation, Ava Halperin. Four years at Brentwood from San Francisco, California, proceeding to Santa Clara University with a scholarship to pursue studies in engineering physics, co-captain of girls volleyball, co-captain of girls soccer, and captain of Hope House, co-winner of the John Garvey Shield for soccer and the Elizabeth Koslich Award in volleyball, Winner of a Heads Award in Athletics and co-winner of the Holmes Cup, Alana Harrison. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Dusseldorf, Germany. Completing an internship and applying to post-secondary programs in art and design in Germany, Liv Louise Ruth Haubrich. Four years at Brentwood, from Duncan, British Columbia, commencing his studies in the social sciences at Huron University College, William Hurd. Five years at Brentwood, from Mill Bay, British Columbia, pursuing her studies in commercial aviation management at Western University winner of the Helen Ormiston Smith Bowl for Ceramics, and winner of the Barbara Stone Award in Volleyball, Haley Hedquist Marshall. <laughs> Three years at Brentwood from Vancouver, British Columbia, commencing her Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree, offered jointly by Camosun College and University of Victoria, captain of intermediate rock band, Chloe Hawken. Two years at Brentwood from Calgary, Alberta, proceeding to Queen's University to pursue her Bachelor of Science degree with a major in psychology, Sasha Willow Holub. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Portola Valley, California, proceeding to Middlebury College in Vermont, where she plans to major in environmental studies, co captain of volleyball co-winner of the Elizabeth Koslitz Award in Volleyball, and winner of the Ken Creer Memorial Award, captain of the Brentwood Environmental Action Team, Sophie Horn. <laughs> Five years at Brentwood from Tokyo, Japan, commencing his studies at the Levy School of Business at Santa Clara University, winner of the Furbacher Ho Sculpture Prize of Triple Colors, and co-winner of the Mary Brooks Law Award, Captain of Whittle House, Yuki Amai. <laughs> Three years at Brentwood from Calgary, Alberta, entering the Faculty of Arts and Science at Queen's University, Samantha Jakes. Four years at Brentwood from North Cowichan, British Columbia, commencing her studies in writing in the Faculty of Fine Arts at University of Victoria with a scholarship, Denzi James. <laughs> Three years at Brentwood 
from Moscow, Russia, proceeding to the Mississauga campus of University of Toronto to pursue her studies in science with a major in psychology, Sabina Jelvis. Four years at Brentwood from Cowichan Bay, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Arts and Science at Queen's University, Kiara Jensen. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Montreal, Quebec, proceeding to Queen's University with a scholarship to pursue her degree in engineering, Alexandra Kane. Five years at Brentwood from Shawnigan Lake, British Columbia, commencing his studies in the social sciences at University of Victoria, Lachlan Kupczynski. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Salt Spring Island, British Columbia, proceeding to University of Victoria with a scholarship to pursue his Bachelor of Engineering degree, winner of the Climbing Prize, Addison Kello. Three years at Brentwood from Muscat, Oman, entering the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences at Simon Fraser University in Vancouver, where he plans to major in economics and international relations, Hudson Kemp. Four years at Brentwood from Parksville, British Columbia, entering the Peter B. Gustafson School of Business at University of Victoria to pursue studies in commerce, co-captain of Brentwood Broadcast and captain of golf, winner of the Rob Sukop Memorial Trophy for golf, Yager Jan Knight. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Toronto, Ontario, commencing her studies in biological, biomedical, and life sciences at McGill University, co-captain of the String Ensemble, winner of the a Heads Award in academics, and of the Butcher Trophy for the Ducks, Arden Coe. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood, from Tainan, Taiwan, pursuing his studies in nanotechnology engineering at University of Waterloo with a scholarship, Mitchell Kuo. Three years at Brentwood from Prince George, British Columbia, entering the Tisch School of, of the Arts at New York University to pursue studies in acting. Captain of Dance, winner of the Old Bretonian Rose Bowl for Dance, of the Earnshaw Trophy for the most valuable contribution to the performing arts, of a Heads Award in Arts, and of the Teagill Bunch Cup, this year's Assistant Head Prefect for Arts, Heather Lamb. Five years at Brentwood from Mill Bay, British Columbia, proceeding to Concordia University in Montreal, Quebec, to pursue studies in commerce at the John Molson School of Business, Christine Lee. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Hong Kong, commencing her studies in hospitality and real estate at Chinese University of Hong Kong, Ho Wing Valerie Leong. Three years at Brentwood, from Hillsborough, California, proceeding, proceeding to Harvey Mudd College at Claremont, California, where he will pursue studies in mathematical and computational biology, co-captain of debate, Xander Levenberg. Hey! <laughs> That's what happens when you get all this distraction. This is a new one. I tell you, this is a new one. <sighs> you, you, hey, you have to share. I mean, come on. You have to share. 
three years at Brentwood from Vancouver, British Columbia, entering the College of Letters and Science at University of California, Santa Barbara, where she plans to major in biology, captain of Bewell and co-winner of the Powell Cup, Jenny Lee. Four years at Brentwood from Red Deer, Alberta, proceeding to the St. George's campus of University of Toronto, where she will pursue studies in life sciences, co-captain of AP Studio Art, Sophia Lee. Four years at Brentwood from Hong Kong, commencing her studies in psychology and language sciences at University College London in England, captain of traditional photography and captain of a branch rock band, winner of the outstanding Rock Musician Prize and of a Heads Award in Academics, and co-winner of the Michael Apatowitz Memorial Award, this year's president of the graduating class, Hazel Ling. Two years at Brentwood from Pincher Creek, Alberta, proceeding to Lethbridge, Lethbridge College in Lethbridge, Alberta, where she will pursue studies in business administration, Emily Little. Four years at Brentwood from Courtney, British Columbia, entering the Schulich School of Engineering at University of Calgary, Captain of Squash and Captain of Ellis House, winner of the Stephen Sprague Award in Soccer of Triple Colors, a Heads Award in Athletics, and co-winner of the Kalen Family Award, Oscar Long. Five years at Brentwood from Shemanus, British Columbia, commencing his studies in kinesiology at the Okan at Okanagan College in Kelowna, where he will be a student athlete in basketball. Winner of the Toshi Trophy in basketball, Jaden Lust. Four years at Brentwood from Couch and Bay, British Columbia. Proceeding to University of Victoria to pursue studies in engineering, co-captain of cross country, co-captain of robotics, and head of the IT Council, winner of the Rose Bowl Cross Country Prize and co-winner of the Robotics Prize, Evan Mayer. Four years at Brentwood from Hong Kong. Proceeding to Lethbridge College to pursue studies in criminology, Lucas Anjay Maj. One year at Brentwood from Hudson Bay, Saskatchewan, entering the Faculty of Engineering at University of Victoria, Elizabeth Yulin Marshall. Oh, yeah. Three years at Brentwood from Whistler, British Columbia, applying to universities in Australia in the coming months, where she intends to study astrophysics, co-captain across country, and winner of a Heads Award in Academics, Neve Martin. Four years at Brentwood from Duncan, British Columbia, commencing her studies in the Faculty of Arts at the Vancouver campus of University of British Columbia, Lucy McAllister. Four years at Brentwood from Mill Bay, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Arts at the Vancouver campus of University of British Columbia, winner of the Morris D. Young Award for Acting and co-winner of the Peyton Trophy, Captain of Rogers House, Jackson McDougall. Three years at Brentwood from Calgary, Alberta, entering the School of Business and Economics at Chapman University in Orange, California, where he plans to major in business administration, Colton McGregor. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Whitehorse, Yukon Territory, pursuing studies in psychology in the Faculty of Arts at University of Calgary, Morgan McRae Blower.
four years at Brentwood from Tokyo, Japan, entering the School of Arts and Science at Tufts University in Medford, Massachusetts, where she plans to major in mathematics, co-winner of the award for and co-captain of graphical and digital arts, Anna Miki. Five years at Brentwood from Mill Bay, British Columbia, commencing his studies in psychology in the Faculty of Social Sciences at University of Victoria, Jonah Miller. One year at Brentwood from Calgary, Alberta, pursuing studies in commerce at the Haskane School of Business at University of Calgary, Joseph Mooney. Five years at Brentwood from Cobble Hill, British Columbia, proceeding to Simon Fraser University with a scholarship to pursue studies in health sciences as a student athlete in soccer, co-captain of girls basketball and of girls soccer, co-winner of the John Garvey Shield for soccer, winner of the Photojournalism Award, of the Defensive Player Award in basketball, and of a Heads Award in athletics, Jensa napier Ganley. Five years at Brentwood from Guadalajara, Mexico, proceeding to Carleton University in Ottawa, Ontario with a scholarship where she will pursue studies in cognitive psychology as a student athlete in basketball, co-captain of girls basketball, winner of the Coach's Award in basketball, and winner of a Heads Award in athletics, Miranda Navarro Perez. Five years at Brentwood from Cortez Island, British Columbia, commencing studies in computer science and media at the Okanagan campus of University of British Columbia in Kelowna, Merlin Nelson. Four years at Brentwood from Hanoi, Vietnam, entering the Faculty of Life Sciences at the St. George's campus of University of Toronto, co-captain of AP Studio Art, Julia Nguyen. Four years at Brentwood from Canmore, Alberta, pursuing studies in management at the Okanagan campus of University of British Columbia, Jago Norris. Two years at Brentwood from Whitecourt, Alberta, proceeding to Queen's University to pursue his Bachelor of Health Sciences degree, David Ojedekun. Two years at Brentwood from Edmonton, Alberta, pursuing studies in the life sciences at the St. George's campus of University of Toronto, winner of the Andrea Pennells Cup and captain of McKenzie House, Bellucci Okeke. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Houston, Texas, proceeding to the College of Engineering at Pennsylvania State University and State College, where he plans to major in mechanical engineering, co-captain of drawing and painting, Tatuku Okonkwa. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Montreal, Quebec, proceeding to St. Lawrence University in Canton, New York with a scholarship, where she plans to major in environmental sciences and be a student athlete in tennis, captain of girls tennis, winner of the Porter Cup and Coaches Award in tennis, and co-winner of the Environmental Advocacy Award, Sarah Oldland. <laughs> Three years at Brentwood from Dahran, Saudi Arabia, entering the Smith School of Business at Queen's University to pursue her Bachelor of Commerce degree co-winner of the Yearbook Prize, winner of the Joyce McLean Choreography Award, and co-winner of the Mary Books Law Award, co-captain of Yearbook and captain of Allard House, Jinwokwe Onwuama. <laughs> Three years at Brentwood from Hamburg, Germany, taking a gap year and completing an internship with a fashion brand in Germany, co-captain of Senior Play, 
Lily Sophie Otto. Four years at Brentwood, from Daejeon, South Korea, commencing her studies in sociology at the St. George's campus of University of Toronto, Kate Park. Three years at Brentwood, from Mill Valley, California, proceeding to Columbia University in New York City, where he plans to major in economics and be a student athlete in rowing, co-captain of the boathouse, Connor Parks. Four years at Brentwood from Canmore, Alberta, entering the Faculty of Science at Dalhousie University in Halifax, Nova Scotia, where she plans to major in biochemistry and molecular biology, co-captain of senior play, Sky Jasmine Francis Paul. Four years at Brentwood, also from Canmore, Alberta, pursuing studies in history in the Faculty of Humanities at University of Victoria, Thomas James Gordon Paul. Five years at Brentwood, from Mill Bay, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Arts and Science at Queen's University, co-captain of theater production, winner of the Kathleen Bryant Memorial Award, Davis William Pettit. Three years at Brentwood from Kelowna, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Arts at McGill University to pursue studies in writing and communication, Julia Phillips. Three years at Brentwood, from Orinda, California, entering the dual degree program with Sciences Po University in France and University of California, Berkeley, to combine studies in political, politics and government and legal studies. Co-winner of the Robert McLean Award in Debate, a Triple Colors winner, and winner of a Heads Award in Academics, Maxine Pollock. Two years at Brentwood, from Mill Bay, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Arts at the Vancouver campus of University of British Columbia with plans to study cognitive systems, winner of the Jerry Lee Award for Drawing and Painting and of a Heads Award in Arts, Grace Prokopchuk. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood, from Dundee, Scotland, pursuing studies in liberal arts and science at Sarah Lawrence College in Bronxville, New York, with a scholarship, co-captain of pottery, Lucinda Rothbone. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood, from Osnabrück, Germany, proceeding to Maastricht University in the Netherlands to pursue studies in international business, Antonio Rauschen. Four years at Brentwood from Ross, California, entering the Trinity College of Arts and Science at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina, to pursue a major in neuroscience, Layla Carolina Reed. Four years at Brentwood from Vancouver, British Columbia, pursuing a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree at Emily Carr University of, of Art and Design in Vancouver, co-captain of Handbuilt Pottery, winner of a Heads Award in Arts, and honored at Brent, as Brentwood's Artist of the Year, Athena Romano. <laughs> Three years at Brentwood from Cobble Hill, British Columbia, proceeding to University of Victoria with a scholarship to pursue his Bachelor of Engineering degree, Reuben Ferguson Rosen. Two years at Brentwood from Delhi, India, proceeding to Kingston University, London in England, 
to pursue studies in business management. Param Santsangi. Three years at Brentwood from Woodside, California, entering the Faculty of Arts and Science at Queen's University, Noah Satuski. One year at Brentwood from Bologna, Italy, returning to Italy to complete a postgraduate year before proceeding to Università Vita Salute San Raffaele in Milan to study medicine, Valentina Scagliarina. <laughs> Three years at Brentwood from Edmonton, Alberta, proceeding to University of Alberta in Edmonton to pursue his Bachelor of Commerce degree, Chetan Singh. Two years at Brentwood from Prince George, British Columbia, proceeding to Queen's University, where he plans to major in political science. Captain of boys soccer, Jay Singh. Three years at Brentwood from Vancouver, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Arts and Science at Queen's University to pursue studies in computing and creative arts. Jacob Smythe. Four years at Brentwood from West Kelowna, British Columbia, commencing her Bachelor of Social Work degree at Toronto Metropolitan University <laughs> with a scholarship, winner of the Handbuilt Pottery Award and of a Heads Award in Arts, Sophia Saul Strasberg. <laughs> Four years at Brentwood from Vancouver, British Columbia proceeding to Western University to pursue studies in engineering, winner of the Peter Clark Trophy for Rugby Sevens, Anton Spinelli. Five years at Brentwood from Duncan, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Arts at University of Calgary, captain of field hockey and of girls ice hockey, winner of the Grimes Award in field hockey and of a Heads Award in athletics, Ella Stone. Three years at Brentwood from Hong Kong, pursuing his Bachelor of Engineering degree at University of Victoria with a scholarship. Winner of the Bruce M. Hicks Public Service Award, Captain of Omni, Finley Satoshi Takahashi. Two years at Brentwood from Lancaster, England, proceeding to Durham University in England, where, to, where she will pursue studies in law, co-captain of debate, co-winner of the Robert McLean Award in debate, winner of the Butterfield Cup for Musical Theater, of Triple Colors, of a Heads Award in Arts, and co-winner of the George Kelly Award, Isabella Thornton. Four years at Brentwood from Revelstoke, British Columbia, commencing her studies in language and culture at University College London in England, winner of the Brentwood Rose Bowl Orchestra Prize, Hope Tigelar. Four years at Brentwood from Tokyo, Japan, proceeding to Western University to pursue studies in management and organizational studies, Tayo Tomita. Three years at Brentwood from Hong Kong, proceeding to Huron Co University College to pursue studies in management and organizational studies, captain of rugby and winner of the Cook Cup Rugby Award, Noe Tsang. Three years at Brentwood from Nairobi, Kenya, proceeding to Huron C University College with a scholarship to pursue studies in management and organizational studies, Vir Tuliani. Yeah. 
three years at Brentwood from Nagoya, Japan, proceeding to Carleton University with a scholarship to pursue studies in aerospace engineering, co-captain of theater production, winner of the Rame Engineering Award, the Outdoor Pursuits Prize, the Oborn Trophy in theater production, and Triple Colors, and co-winner of the Michael Epatowitz Memorial Award, Tavin Umeda. Three years at Brentwood from Heritage Point, Alberta, taking a gap year before pursuing post-secondary studies in business, Matthew Vanderwerf. Three years at Brentwood from Singapore, taking two gap years to complete his national military service in Singapore before pursuing studies in science and business, captain of boys tennis and winner of the Angus Cup for tennis, Henry Kehang Vasco. <laughs> two years at Brentwood from Campbell River, British Columbia, commencing her studies in medicine at University College Dublin in Ireland, co-captain of Drawing and Painting, and winner of a Heads Award in Arts, Kaylee Virapin. Four years at Brentwood from Hong Kong, pursuing his Bachelor of Kinesiology degree at University of Alberta in Edmonton, Donald Vaughan. Four years at Brentwood from Vancouver, British Columbia, entering the Faculty of Arts at University of Alberta in Edmonton, where he plans to major in economics, Arthur Wang. <laughs> Two years at Brentwood from Kimberley, British Columbia, pursuing studies in biological, biomedical, and life sciences at McGill University, Emma Diane Willman. Three years at Brentwood from Duncan, British Columbia, proceeding to Vancouver Island University, Nanaimo, to pursue his Electrician Foundation studies, Max Wolf. Two years at Brentwood from the Cayman Islands, proceeding to Dalhousie University with a scholarship to pursue her Bachelor of Music degree, winner of the Outstanding Rhythm and Blues Prize, Sophie Woodcock. <laughs> Three years at Brentwood from Hong Kong, entering the College of Letters and Science at University of California, Berkeley, where she plans to major in molecular and cell biology, winner of the Roly Bull Shield Prize in and captain of vocal ensemble, Ashley Wen Jin Wu. Four years at Brentwood from Toronto, Ontario, proceeding to the St. George's campus of University of Toronto, where she plans to major in international relations in the Faculty of Social Sciences, Deborah Zhang. and bringing the storied McDonnell era at Brentwood to a close. Four years at Brentwood from Revelstoke, British Columbia, proceeding to Queen's University to pursue studies in engineering, captain of musical theater, winner of triple colors, heads awards in academics and athletics, and winner of the Yarrow Shield, this year's head prefect, Thomas Elliot McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me once again in congratulating the members of Brentwood College School's Class of 2023.
Thank you very much. I think Mr. Rodriguez deserves a special round of applause. Amazing, amazing. So before we conclude today's events, in a moment the graduates will be invited, and they know this, to the grassy area below Crooks Hall balcony. So the graduates will go there immediately after this, not having hugs with you. There's no pretty pictures with you. That's gonna, they're going to go down there first. You can do the pr pictures afterwards. Below there, they're going to get ready on someone's queue, maybe Mr. McPherson or someone else's queue, and throw up their caps in, in a traditional sense to say they're done. All the parents and any visitors can go onto the balcony on top to take pictures down below. We're good with that? <laughs> okay, no hugs. <laughs> they go and then you can go onto the balcony after that. We look forward to all, seeing you all at tomorrow night's dinner dance. Congratulations, graduates. Off you go. You guys go that, you go that way. <laughs>